Hello and welcome back to Chemistry It Is All That Matters and today we're going to be looking at the phases of matter but in particular we are going to be looking at gases and we're going to be talking about gases based on the kinetic molecular theory and this deals with the energy of the molecules in a gas. Now what we're talking about here is the kinetic molecular theory and we're going to relate the kinetic molecular theory to gases but we need to review basics about this theory. Now first of all the word kinetic means motion and we notice here that when liquid water is in its liquid phase at room temperature the molecules of water are moving and they're moving but we don't really notice that because they are held in place by the surface tension the surface tension at the top of the water and the temperature is not enough to allow those molecules of water to escape the shape and volume they're now in if we were to decrease the energy by lowering the temperature what we would have is we can take that water and form it into a crystal structure and we can slow the molecules down to the point that they have very little energy and when they have very little energy they have very little motion um, actually um, even in a solid state the molecules are in motion they're just vibrating in the same position because as we see as we increase that temperature we can get those molecules to start that motion right at about zero degrees Celsius which is where the change from liquid to solid for water takes place and as we take the water up to room temperature we see that the molecules are moving a little more random however at the liquid phase they do not really start to escape and now if we start to increase the kinetic energy and we add kinetic energy we notice that some of those molecules actually start to escape and as they escape they take on the gas phase but we can actually run this temperature up to the point where we reach the gas phase and the gas phase is where we are going to talk about this mole kinetic molecular theory and the gas phase for water takes place when water turns to steam at a hundred degrees Celsius so let's look at this kinetic molecular theory there are some things that we hold as a consistent idea as we talk about the kinetic molecular theory first of all when we think of gases we think of the molecules being spherical in shape and that they have very insignificant volume and in fact the molecules are moving so quickly and they are so spaced apart that their volume can take the shape of any container that we put them in the next thing we must understand about the kinetic molecular theory is that the motion of these spheres of gas or these molecules of gas is completely random it is a constant motion and the motion is very rapid and the more energy present the more rapid or more quickly the molecules will move and it is this process of movement of the molecules and the spacing between the molecules that keep these molecules in their gaseous state next we must understand that these molecules will be colliding they will be colliding with each other and they will be colliding with the surfaces of the container that the gas is housed in and these collisions are completely elastic and what is meant by elastic as the is the molecules are not going to stick together or they are not going to stick to the container they are in they are going to bounce directly off each other they are going to bounce off of the surfaces of the container they are in now it is this idea of collisions that creates the concept of gas pressure 
the more collisions that take place, the more pressure the gas is under. And if you have a great deal of molecules in a smaller space, you're going to have more collisions. More collisions means more pressure. If you have a smaller amount of molecules, or you have a larger space where the collisions are less often with each other and with the surface of the container, you have less pressure in the gas. So it is this kinetic molecular theory, the movement of the molecules, that creates the pressure of the gas. Because as you increase the collisions between the molecules and the surface that they're being housed in, the more pressure the gas is under. And if you can reduce that pressure either by changing the shape and increasing the volume of the container or by decreasing the number of molecules present, you can change the pressure. So kinetic molecular theory is the theory that talks about the motion of the gas molecules and how that motion is affected by the energy. And it is called the kinetic theory because it's motion and it is the basis for the pressure that gases are under. So this was an introduction to kinetic molecular theory and the idea of the gaseous phase of a state of matter. And we are going to continue in the next video talking about how we measure pressure, temperature, and volume of gases. Keep working on your chemistry.